<clears throat> what is up, mental patients? My name is Tormental, and the sneak peek preview of Incredibles 2 has just dropped, like a like a hot meteorite out of out of space. I don't know, but um, yeah, Incredibles 2 sneak peek has dropped. Looks pretty cool. I wanted to give some of my thoughts about it, and you know, because that's that's a movie I really enjoyed back in the day, and I want to give my thoughts about it while also doing something interesting, hopefully. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a new villain for the Incredibles universe, an OC, if you will. Uh, in, even if you won't, it's still going to be an OC. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to talk about that as we go along here. Now, the type of character I'm going to be creating, I'm not sure what type of head she would have, just, oh god, that head is disturbing, that would never be, Pixar wouldn't be caught dead. Um, <laughs> having that face in one of their movies, that is Uncanny Valley to the extreme. Uh, but yeah, the preview dropped. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of concerned about some parts about it. Uh, but you know, for now, let's just focus on making our own, uh, villain for the Incredibles franchise. I don't know what kind of eyes we want here. Uh, we're gonna make sort of a, a, a female character, as you may or may not, you know, be able to tell. She's gonna be bad. So maybe, like, some, some eyes that are sort of, like, I don't know, do we want crazy eyes? Do we want uh, things like these, maybe? No, that's a little too spooky. <laughs> that's too spooky for me. That's too spooky for Pixar. Uh, maybe eyes like that, I think, actually, she'll be evil, but she'll be a little bit nuts. So we, we can get away with some eyes like that that kind of look like, who, me? I'm not, I'm not a bad guy. I'm just drawn that way. In uh, Hero Maker. Man, I love these eyebrows, though. I love the choices. You get so many choices on this fucking thing, and it's a free game, basically, just a character maker. Not sponsored by Hero Maker. But, um, a lot of fucking choices. We could give her rock eyebrows if we want, like, like, uh, Fantastic Four. But let's just go normal, yeah. What kind of mouth do we want? Do we want sassy? Do we want jovial? Actually, that... That doesn't look jovial so much as terrifying. Uh, do we want sort of, like, looking like you're blowing bubbles? Uh, vampire? She's not a vampire, I can tell you that much. She's not a, not a zombie. Uh, that... That might work, but not for what we're making here. Um, that might, that might, that might work on the, uh, Incredibles 2, Rule 34 site. But yeah, I think we're going to go with something that might... Oh! I think we're going to go with... Actually, I like that mouth. I like that mouth a lot. Although I wanted to make her a bit nutty, a bit crazy. So we're going to maybe go with a mouth like that. Because we want to make her want to make her a little nutso go boingo uh, Yeah, I think we're going to... Yeah, there we go. Let's move that mouth down just a little bit. What that mouth do? It goes down. But yeah, we're going to do that, and we're going to do some colors on the face here. Uh, this character, as I said, is going to be a bit of a lunatic character, a crazy villain. Uh, so we're going to maybe do some... some uh, What the fuck? No, we're going to do some purples. And if you're a kid watching this, please don't watch this. I know that this is like an Incredibles character, supposedly. But this is not... This is not a not a not a video for little babbies. It's gonna have some profanity in it because I can't I can't get through anything without profanitizing, which is uh, not a word I think, but you know whatever. Uh, yeah, I think we got some good uh, skin tone here. Um, not saying that one skin tone is good and one skin tone is evil. I know that people are gonna quote me on that, take it out of context. So I'm gonna say right now that is not my intention. Uh, do we want something like eyeshadow, or do we want actual skin tone? I think we want just the actual skin tone. We're gonna make the eyes pink. She's gonna have a bad case of pink eye, apparently. And get that nose, color that nose up. Perfect. Perfect. Not that there is a perfect skin color. Again, don't get me wrong, please. Uh, color them ears in. Make those ears pop. I don't know what that means. That means nothing, actually. But yeah, Incredibles 2, the trailer looks interesting to me, but it looks like a rehash of the first movie. Which, you know, is something that happens sometimes with Pixar movies. Uh, where the sequel, like Toy Story, the Toy Story franchise, eh, you know, a lot of it you could argue is similar throughout the different stories. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, it looks like, you know, okay, well, one of the characters is going off on an adventure to re-spark their, you know, past as a superhero. Sounds a lot like Incredibles 1. Sounds a lot like the first one, uh, where Mr. Incredible goes out and does that exact thing for the character Syndrome, the bad guy. But yeah, um, spoiler alert, by the way, he's a bad guy. I don't know if you knew that. Hopefully you already knew that. Um, <laughs> if you didn't... Uh, I'm sorry for ruining your first viewing of the film. But, um, yeah, I don't like these hairstyles. But it looks a lot like the same movie again. Mrs. Incredible now is going out, uh, and having an adventure on her own. Um, I assume that's... what the fuck is up with that hairstyle? Actually, that works pretty well for what we're doing here, but let's just make sure we don't have anything else here we want to go with. Um, Mrs. Incredible is going out and having her own adventure. Uh, she probably is going to be working for someone who turns out to be a villain. Uh, you know, just like the first film. I like that hairstyle. I like that hairstyle. Oh, I don't know why the short hair appeals to me more for these types of characters. Maybe it's something about the Incredibles universe, because if you notice, short hair seems to be the in thing for those characters. But yeah, I actually like this one. Even though it covers up a bit much of the face... Uh, we're still going to go with this one, because it looks, it looks a lot like something you would see in an Incredibles movie. It almost looks like... Actually, maybe that looks too much like Elastigirl's hair. Ugh, shit. It looks too much like Elastigirl's hair. Uh, that's, that's a shame. That's a real shame. But, um, yeah, we can't use that, because it's going to be confusing to all the viewers who see this character uh, in the movie. Not really, though, because... We're not that we're not that uh, deluded here on my channel. This is just for fun. This is just for stupid, idiotic fun, for a goddamn loser. But yeah, Mrs. Incredible gonna go out work on her own. Uh, the guy who's hired her is probably gonna turn out to be evil with a secret plot that she's been drawn into. And meanwhile, uh, Mr. Incuckable is back watching the baby. <laughs> I okay. Is it is it apparent that I just wanted? the opportunity to use the term Mr. Incuckable, because cause that's that's the only reason I'm making this video, I wanted to say that. Uh, but yeah, so it seems like the same movie again, kind of, kind of odd. Uh, they got the whole thing with the baby, where I'm not sure if I want to uh, see a movie of, you know, somebody taking care of a baby. It's, it's like three men and a baby, but with superheroes, you know, that type of shit. Um... So I'm not really sure if I want to I want to see that. Why do these none of the zombie outfits really work well uh for the female character except maybe this, but we're not going to I don't think I don't think having a zombie cheerleader is going to uh be in the Incredibles franchise. I could be wrong. I could be totally fucking wrong. Um if you haven't been able to tell so far, uh we're going to go we're going to be making a character that is sort of like a psychedelic mind controller. Like someone who messes with people's minds, makes them trip out, hallucinate. Because um, if you look at the Incredibles universe, there sort of is like a... Uh, what do you want to call it? Like a theme of Golden Age comics. Like, like you know, the actual Golden Age of comics. Where it sort of is like old-timey to a certain extent, but also kind of modern. So in the interest of going a bit old-timey... We're gonna give. We're gonna use this cape to make her have like a back to her coat because I don't know why the coat doesn't have a back to it, but it doesn't. Uh, in the interest of doing something a bit old timey but a little bit modern as well, we're gonna make sort of like a you know a, a hippy dippy druggy kind of character. Uh, someone maybe from the <laughs> the peace and love era of the '60s. I don't know something like that. You can see her arm clipping through her jacket. Not very cool. Not very good. Um, maybe we're going to get rid of that. I think we're going to get rid of that. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you guys when I figure out what top she's going to wear, because I don't want to put you through this whole thing of trying to figure that all out. But I know she's not going to be half Titan. That's for damn sure. So what we're going to do is... A lot of the characters in the Incredibles universe have a sort of... Uh, aesthetic where there's like very simple colors. So we're going to go for very simple colors... And, as you can see, I've made the body a dark color, and I'm making the top, like, a sort of a pinkish color. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do here with this character. Something something psychedelic, something weird, something strange. 
So as you can see, I have sort of made the uh, body color like black, because if, if you notice, the colors on the characters are kind of simple in The Incredibles. Like usually like a black base and then like a red on top of that for the good guys. Different things like that. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here to make her stand out as sort of like a psychedelic, you know, weird kind of character. That actually looks pretty good. I don't like the fact that the purple um, shading is on the left boob there, her left, but it, it does actually look pretty cool. That looks, to me, sort of like a Incredibles-type design, like a, you know, very simple, basic design, like a Golden Age kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think legwear? I don't know. Female briefs? Um, that's not... <laughs> Okay, may maybe, maybe, I don't know, um, let's, let's see what we got going on here. I don't think this is what we're going to end up with, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's not really, I don't know, maybe, mm, I don't know, let's look at, let's look at some of the other stuff we got here. We got robot panties, I don't think robot panties will work. Dresses, I don't think she'd be the dress type. I don't think she's the dress type, this, uh, psychedelic, uh, hippy dippy druggy character. Um, now, I could be wrong, maybe something here will speak to me, but it doesn't seem like anything here is really gonna uh, whit my whistle. Nothing here is really gonna stand out to me. Um, where were those jean shorts? I saw jean shorts. Oh no, wait, that's a jean skirt. Alright, yeah, these are all, these all suck ass. These are terrible. These are terrible decisions. Why would you ever make her wear any of these horrible, horrible things. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. We're going to go with that one. That, that actually looks pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm going to build on top of this. What we're going to do is we're going to give her a belt. Uh, let's give her a... Do we want standard female belts? Oh, we're going to give her a military belt. Uh, just to be a little bit odd. Why is that not at the front? But yeah. Gonna give her a military belt, and we're gonna do something a little bold here with the coloring. We're gonna make it the color of her hair, as opposed to the color of her outfit here. Because we're making, we're trying to make a character that has sort of like a very simple color scheme, but a very striking color scheme, because that's usually what, you know, goes on with the Incredibles characters. Simple, yet striking. And the belt actually, I think, isn't big enough, so we'll extend that a little bit so it looks like she's actually wearing it, and it's not just sitting on her. But yeah, I think, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think, actually, we could give her some pouches. <laughs> we could Rob Liefeld this up. We could make this like a 90s uh, image comic up in this piece. Um, yeah, I think, actually, I like the understated belt a bit more. Um, do we have, let me just make sure... Do we have anything with, like, a double belt? Because that sometimes can look uh, pretty cool. I don't think we have any double belts here, and if I went past it, I apologize. But not really, because I don't care. Uh, I'll make sure, just make sure there's no double belts. Oh, well. What a shame. How do you not have... Oh. Okay. We do have double belts. All right, let's uh, get those to conform to her supple... Childbearing hips, I don't know. Um, is there a way to make these fit correctly? They're gonna be they're gonna be hanging pretty low, but that's okay. She doesn't mind dropping her belt every now and again. But yeah, she's gonna have some uh, pretty interesting belts on. Now I almost feel like these should be white. What do you guys think? White? Yeah, I feel like these should be white. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I do like that, but I'm going to go back just because I'm a gigantic loser who uh, can't take risks. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll make the we'll make the buckles white. How about that? Uh, so next, what else, what do we want to do next here? We want to give her. I think I think we want to give her like an insignia. We got to give her something kind of odd. Uh, like I said, like psychedelic. I don't know. Is there like a spiral we can give her? Can we give her a spiral? Not those types. That's awful. Those spirals are awful. Uh, I don't think... I don't think we have a spiral here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Standard. Maybe maybe standard has a spiral. Ooh, you know, biohazard could work for a hippy-dippy drug lady. Uh, 
I don't know. Damn. No spirals. You have the Canadian flag. And you got a, you got Cobra Commander's codpiece. But you, you got a swastika. Why do you have a swastika? Wait, okay, wait. Stop, stop the video. Why do we have a swastika? Uh, but yeah, no, nothing like that. All right, well, we're going to give her a heart. I mean, that kind of sucks. Um, not really fitting for the character, but we're going to give her a heart. We're going to put it right over her heart, at least where I think the human heart is, which is in the boob. Uh, women have their hearts in their boobs, right? Is that correct? I believe so. I believe I am correct in that assertion. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do that. Doot, doot, and a doot, doot. Perfect. Okay. Um, fuck, I wish it was something other than a heart. Maybe we'll come back to that at some point. Uh, since we're going asymmetrical, uh, maybe we could just make this arm uh, like the color of her, the other side of her outfit. Yeah, that works. That works, buddy. That works good. Okay, so we're going to make the sleeve longer again because I think it looked better longer. All right, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Let's get rid of this fucking heart because I don't... I know I said that I was going to come back to it, but I don't fucking like it. I actually hate it. Uh, I wanted a spiral, but there's no spiral. What the f... What? Why are these... Recycling symbol? Is this a fidget spinner? This is a fidget spinner. No. Um... Yeah, I don't... Uh, nah. They don't really have anything iconic, like, uh... Like you see on the Incredibles costumes. They always have, like, an iconic symbol. Like the, like the letter I with the swirl. It's very, very cool and iconic. But nothing here really stands out to me. We could make her, uh, hyper-religious. This is Christ Girl. Christ Girl! Coming to a theater near you. Uh, no. Uh, moon, hearts, stars, mushrooms, clovers, and blue moons. Pots of gold and rainbows and the whatever the fuck. Um, maybe what we could do is a circle. We do a circle, right? We uh, get it down to an appropriate size. Put it on the other side of the chest. Or actually, let's put it right in the middle. Let's put it right in the middle. Uh, you know, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it, it isn't... The circle isn't really like an icon, it's not really that great, but, you know, it's something. It's something to draw the eye and make the, you know, costume look a little bit interesting. I, I wish there was something in there. Maybe I'll go in, uh, edit in something there, like a, edit in my own spiral or something. I don't know what the fuck. Alright, let's do the hands now. Do we want to do zombie hands? <laughs> give her a hook for a hand. That, that would be out of left field. But no, what we're going to do is we're going to give her normal... Normal people hands. Bring it to the fucking front. Jesus Christ. Why would it be in the back? Uh, yeah, I mean, nothing really... Nothing really too crazy here that we can do with the hands. I mean, we could give her... Do we want to give her a tentacle hand? Again, this isn't Rule 34, so I don't know. Give her just a, a metal nub. Give her a fidget spinner for a hand. Uh, yeah, I don't really think... Give her a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're I think we're pretty much just gonna do like normal fucking hands here, cause there's no there's no reason to go crazy with that. Hands in your doll maker, not very fucking great. Okay, so did I say doll maker? I meant OC maker. This is not a doll maker, no siree. This is for big boys. This is for men to make original characters. This is for writers and artists who want to create something interesting. But yeah. I just hope that the new movie is going to be good, because, you know, I as I said previously, uh, I don't really like the idea of rehashing the original film. Um, you know, having one of the parents has to go out and do a job. It's like, I, I already saw that, thank you very much, please don't do that again. But um, I, I hold out hope for it. I like that they started it where the Underminer is. Uh, at that part, because I just think it's really cool that they are uh, keeping the theme of what was going on at the end of the first film. They actually are paying attention to that. It always got me with like movies like you know Alien Three. <laughs> they sort of you know if you've seen the Alien movies in the second one, they pick up this little kid, 
and that's like a big plot point to the fucking thing. But then in the beginning of Alien 3, it's just like, oh, by the way, that kid is dead. And you're like, oh, well, fucking damn. That's not what I was expecting. I thought I had a kid going to be in my movie, but no. Poor kid. So I like the idea that they actually are paying attention to what they were doing before uh, the sequel started. Alright, so, meh. And I think that should be a bit darker. Alright, so as you can see, I've made her very asymmetrical. Um, she's got the long pink glove on one arm, the short black glove on the other forearm, and, you know, the swishy kind of swoosh thing going on here. So yeah, she's pretty pretty asymmetrical. Um, she's kind of wonky and off-center. Uh, I haven't given you her name yet. I do have an, a name that I'm thinking of, but I'm not exactly sure if I want to say just yet. I want to do one leg. Damn. Damn, girl! That leg goes all the way down. Alright, uh... Or all the way up, I should say. I want to do one leg a certain color, and another leg another color. That's what I want to do with this part here. I'm just making her all asymmetrical and weird. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is there a short... A short thing for the other leg? Yes, there is. Alright. Now we just have to give her a foot. <laughs> we have to give her a foot. Um... Because she needs two of those. I always get the goddamn left and right mixed up. Because I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, the left foot is this one. But they're like, no, it's her left. And I'm like, you gotta... You gotta be sticklers about that, huh? Gotta be... Gotta be sticklers. So yeah, that is going to, of course, be the same goddamn colors that we've been doing the entire time. It's sure is fun to have to do it over and over and over and over again. Uh, if we bring that to the front, will that take that line out? Not really. There's a line there I don't like, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do, really? Um, oh, shit. Yeah, I think she looks almost pretty much done here. Um, crazy to say, but she looks pretty much almost done. Now, if you know Edna Mode from uh, Incredibles 1, you know that you don't give people capes. No capes. So I'm not really sure if I want to break that rule and give her a cape. Because she's a bad guy. You know, she's a bad guy. I wanted to give her, like, a jacket of some sort. Make her more like a, a dirty hippie kind of character. But I think what we have here worked out pretty well. I think what we have worked out pretty well here. No Dr. Octopus. No. No cat lady. No squid lady. No wings. She is not a jet fighter. I know what we have to do. We have to do an aura. What the hell am I thinking? She has to have an aura because she's a psychic, mind-controlling, trip-out, uh, fucking skis. So she's got to have some kind of aura, like, around her head or something. Of course, that's what we have to put in the background. Yeah! See how th There we go. Now we're thinking with portals. Okay. Give it, uh, we'll give it a slightly different color from everything else because we don't want it to blend in with her outfit. I don't know if I like that, though. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below what you think of this. <laughs> and I'll I'll be sure to take that into consideration. Actually, let's just make that white and let's make the black line purple. Boom! Oh shit, look at that. There we go. We got our perfect psychic psychedelic trip out lady. And we're going to resize that a bit more. Move it a bit up. It looks like she has just an afro. But you and I will know. Actually, if I make the color a bit lighter, there, now it looks more like a psychic energy thing. I think when it was darker, it looked like the outline of hair, but now now it looks a little more like psychic shit. So yeah, she's a bit crazy. I don't know if we want to make her skin color different now that we've done this. Maybe make her... I don't know. Should we... I feel like there's something... Let's make uh, her face bigger here. I feel like there's something we could do with the face that would be a bit more interesting, but I'm not quite sure. Can we make her pale? Yeah, let's make her pale. Let's make her, like, pale like a, like a frickin' corpse. Like a corpse bride. Because I want to make her seem a little bit eerie. I want to make her seem a little bit uh, crazy. A little bit bashful. A little bit dopey. A little bit sneezy. A little bit doc. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're not going to be able to color her other eyebrow there because it's behind the hair. But, yeah, okay, so we've got made her nice and pale. 
And I think the hairstyle could stand to be a bit smaller. I'm, I know I'm over-designing this right now, but there we go. Perfect. So yeah, this is our character. This is our Incredibles OC, the new Incredibles character that you can't see anywhere but here uh, for the film that's coming out at some point. And I almost want to just noodle a little bit more on something here. Yeah, I think that works too. I think uh, giving her one black foot, <laughs> I think that pushes the <laughs> asymmetrical status a little bit to the extreme. I, 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 I like it. I like that extreme. Um, I don't know about neckwear. I don't really know if we want to give her any kind of, you know, crazy... Uh, maybe, okay, maybe a pull tab. That's kind of kind of interesting. I, I, it doesn't really fit with the character, but we'll, it's like, you can't barely see it, but it'll be there. It's, you know, it's what you pull uh, to make her talk or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else we need to add to her. Uh, the background, fucking cityscape, I guess, maybe. Her name, uh, since she is a psychedelic character, I was thinking of naming her Psychodelia. Psychedelic, psychedelia. Um, but it would be Psycho dash uh, Delia. Like the name Delia. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Psychodelia. There's our fucking, there's our fucking character. Perfect. Perfect. Psychodelia. Um, I, I really am looking forward to seeing Incredibles 2. I just hope that it lives up to the long wait we've had, and I hope that it doesn't rehash too much of the same goddamn story. Uh, I hope that the scenes with the baby aren't going to be just annoying, uh, like, manic garbage, like the baby, you know, filling its diaper and throwing it across the room and, you know, constantly babbling and drooling and spitting up and, you know. I, I Basically, I just hope it's not going to be, like, Mr. Incredible taking care of the Emoji Movie, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I really hope that's not going to be the case. But yeah, this is our character, Psychodelia. If you like stupid shit like this, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't like it, dislike the video. Uh, block me and never come back again. My name is Tormental. Goodbye, everybody. Listen to me whisper. Watch me eat on camera. Hear me scream at nothing. Be my next subscriber. See me prank a stranger. I will eat a pepper. Comment on my failure. Be my moderator. Donate to insult me. Asshole. Asshole.